I mean, let's face it, when you are a hairdresser and you speak to probably hundreds of thousands of people at this point, right, during the span of a career, clients, hairdressers, and you start to hear some of the sticking points that people have and the, the ways that we can't always get out of our own way, it always comes from our mindset, always. And like everyone, I've met just extraordinary hairdressers that are so, their hands are so beautiful and what they produce with their hands is so beautiful that they sometimes can't get out of their own way to make a good living. Then I've seen I've... hairdressers that aren't that great and don't work that hard on their skill set and don't maybe struggle with getting their hands to interpret things but have a totally different mindset and a totally different career. Why, why is it that you, why is the mindset of somebody that makes really good money, finds real success in what they do? Is there a certain mindset of that person? Look, we hear, we hear a lot and sometimes it feels a bit woo, but it's, it is true, factually. We talk about um, coming from a place of lack and limitation and having an abundant mindset and it's very true because when you're that scared of losing a client that you won't raise your prices even when you know that it's costing you money to do that haircut or that color service or keep your doors open you're coming from a lack mindset you're trying to hang on so tight to what you got and you're too scared to raise the price, have the conversation with the client because you may lose them. And if you lose them, that may tell you that you're not actually good enough anyway because they wouldn't stay with you. That's totally coming from a lack mindset and holding yourself back. There are so many hairdressers that I talk to that haven't raised their prices. I mean, some of them in 20 years. I can't even wrap my head around it. Do you think that's because we develop a strong relationship too strong with clients and people almost feel they become my friend? I don't want to put my prices up, which has got to be. A hundred percent. But that's also mindset, mm. right? Like that, for me, that's mindset as well. So uh, this is going to sound harsh. Your clients aren't your friends. Now, that doesn't mean they're not lovely. You don't care for them. You don't treat them with kindness, compassion, empathy, all of those things. But they're not your friends. And I don't know about everyone else, but I don't want all my friends in my chair all the time because sometimes my friends are real pain in the bum. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? And I love yeah, my friends, yeah, but sometimes yeah, yeah. they're real pain in the bum. Uh, totally. I, 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 I get it. I think we just over friend we our do. clients and that's our, oh, well, you know, I don't want to see her go. I don't want to leave our chair. But the reality is, is if you want a great lifestyle in our industry and that is really possible, but you have to charge the right amount of money, don't we? Being, you know, cheap ain't going to get you nowhere. I would also say, not just a great lifestyle, a sustainable lifestyle. So what's a sustainable lifestyle? I mean, well, first of all, I think um, symptomatic sometimes of our industry because everything is about looks, right? We've, we're visual people, we're creatives, we like nice things, we like the way things look, we're tactile, we tend to live a lifestyle that maybe is not within our means or our budget because it looks good, right? They're the decisions when you're building something sustainable or you're building a business or you're a business owner, you have to make those decisions. What is it going to cost me? Sometimes you need to, you know, speculate and put the money out there knowing that it will return later. Sometimes you need to close those purse strings down and go, you know what, I don't need that new pair of shoes. I don't need to, to do that. 
I need to put my focus over here. I think, and I was guilty of it, and sometimes I still am, of getting caught up in that, oh, I'm going to a hair show. I've got to go and buy a new outfit and make sure this looks. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. I'm not above it, right? I'm speaking from experience. But I have learnt through age and being a business owner and learning more about my money. You need to look at, I want a life. I want to know that when I get older, which I'm there, that I can take care of myself, that I can support my business through the rough times, take care of my team, 